Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. So I am in the town of Waterton in Waterton Lakes National Park in Southern Alberta. It is absolutely beautiful here. I love Waterton. It's just one of those places you come and you'll never forget it because it is absolutely stunning. The scenery is just out of this world. It's a very small town. Um, in the summertime it's a tourist town so there's a lot of influx of people that come but in the winter time the population goes back down to about 105 so there's only about 105 permanent residents here and everyone who lives here they're so nice and welcoming and warm. I was here a couple years ago and I had so much fun checking out the area just giving the surface because there's so much to see and do here. Yeah, this is a place that should be on everyone's bucket list. You have to come to Waterton. I am staying at this beautiful guest house called the Glacier Inn and Suites. I'll show you my cozy little abode while I'm here. Yeah, I absolutely, I love it. And my bed, so comfortable. I just like melted right into it when I got here last night. Yeah, so anyway guys, let's see what fall brings in the little town of Waterton. This is the little TV sitting room and that's just right at the entrance when you walk in the door here you're straight into the sitting room and there's the fireplace to keep you nice and toasty warm. Yeah, I love it. There's the coffee station with the microwave and the fridge and all that good stuff. I love the shower. I love that lots of places I've stayed lately have these nice, you know, rain shower heads because those are the best. Just makes the shower so much nicer. And of course here is my room. Sorry the bed's a little messy because I did sleep in it last night. And I love the fireplace. This is how you heat up your room is with the fireplace. So that kept me toasty warm last night. I loved it. When visiting Waterton, you cannot miss the Red Rock Parkway Drive. It is absolutely beautiful and it's just on the outskirts of town. It takes you on this road that goes behind the mountains that you see in towns here, just on the other side of the mountains. And if you come in early spring, the sides of the highway will be covered in stunning wildflowers. One of the best ways to enjoy this 14 kilometer scenic parkway is by e-bike, which you can rent right from town. If you look at the trees on the side of the highway, that is all from a massive forest fire that happened and devastated the area of Waterton Lake National Park in 2017. Red Rock Canyon, a stunning place to stop with great hiking in the area. smoky today because it's been so windy and there's been forest fires that the wind brought in all the smoke but hopefully it clears up this afternoon it still does not take away from Waterton's beauty though a little bit of smoke and it's still absolutely gorgeous I'm really surprised how many tourists are here in Waterton right now. I never expected it to be that busy, yet it's actually quite busy. So it's nice to see that, you know, all the locals are getting to explore their backyard because from what we've been told, it's a lot of people from Alberta, traveling up to Southern Alberta, you know, to explore their own province, which I think is amazing because there's always so much to see in our own backyard. slowly dying down because last night when we got here the wind was hectic I mean it's still a little hectic but definitely not what it was it was I think they were saying up to 110 kilometers an hour that was some serious window here it comes again like big gusts crazy Yeah, that is some serious wind. Very, very serious wind. Yeah. 
So we came to this little local place called Waffles, and as you guessed from the name, their specialty is waffles. So everything on the menu entails something with a waffle, which is amazing. They do salads, they do eggs benedict, they do sweet and savory and all of that kind of stuff. And it's homemade fresh waffles. It's just, yeah, super cool. They have a really healthy drink menu, so they make really interesting lattes made out of like vegetable-based um, ingredients, which is super cool. So I got this Rose London Fog. It's an iced Rose London Fog. And yeah, it actually has real rose petals on top. I've never in my life ingested roses. I love roses and rose essential oil and all that jazz. But yeah, never in my life have I ingested roses. So this will be my first time, but I'm gonna give it a go. Wow, wow, it really tastes like roses. That's so interesting. There's like the essence of roses in there. The owner of Waffles owns the next door place called Wieners. So Wieners is a staple in the community. Everyone knows it. It's been around for about 12 years now. And Waffles has only been around for about a year. But it's very cool. Waffles and Wieners. I love, uh, I love how the names complement each other. I just need to correct myself, guys. So I said this place is called Waffles. It's actually called Waffleton, which is even cooler because it's like Waterton and waffles mixed together. It's Waffleton. Um, I just had waffles in my head because I was looking at the menu, so I called it waffles, but it's Waffleton, and then the next door is Wieners. Yeah, so very cool. I'm here at Waffleton. Of course, I had to come next door and check out the other business of Wieners because Wieners is a big staple in the community. It is super famous. It, like I said, it's been here 12 years. A lot of the time, there's a lineup down the sidewalk to come and get one of these gourmet hot dogs. So it is a popular place, a must-stop destination. I think both Waffleton and Wieners is a must-stop destination destination when you come to Waterton. Now they do make their own sauerkraut and kombucha and they were so kind as to give me a very small sample of their sauerkraut which they use dill and caraway seeds in. All right you can see the caraway seeds and the dill on there. I think it's gonna be really good. The cabbage is super crunchy and that dill and caraway flavor really complements it really well. Definitely a winner. Yeah. Yes, this is the life, guys. Now I want a fireplace in all my bedrooms for the rest of my life. Definitely an incredibly comfortable bed. You like melt right into this bed and I love that I have lots of pillows. You know, I have a massive appreciation for a good comfortable bed when I'm staying in a guest house or a lodge and yeah, this one, so good guys, so good. Just finished breakfast at Trappers and I'm now here with the owner. He is about to show us the only bear proof smoker in the world and I think this is so cool because I've never seen anything like this myself. So let's check it out. Hi, welcome back. Hope your breakfast was uh, great this morning and now we're um, cooking some stuff here getting ready for dinner. I'm kind of shrugging because it's cool out here today. It is cold. It is cold, yes. But anyway, this is my smoker. It's in the back of our business and um, it's a Southern Pride smoker. It comes out of Tennessee by way of Ontario and then a long truck ride across Canada to get here to us in Waterton. Anyway, um, bear proof smoker uh, by way of cooking outside. I'm always a little nervous about maybe a, a bear smelling some of the good food we serve here at Trappers trying to get into this smoker. So I had my daughter-in-law, uh, my sorry, my daughter-in-law's brother who's in the welding business fabricate this for me so I'll just show you how heavy duty this is uh, this is our logo by the way at Trappers and I look at how heavy duty these doors are Wow! very windy here today so just be careful inside here right now um, we've got some baked potatoes has anyone ever tried yeah. Smoked baked potatoes. Smoked baked potatoes. Can't say <laughs> that I have. No, they're very, they're very good. Nice. Um, and this is my brisket coming around. Normally, this 
thing is full when we're uh, very busy during the, the, uh, the mid-summer months here in Waterton. Um, this is my brisket here. Canadian beef. Wow. Uh, yep, yeah, it's, got, it's got probably another 45 minutes and then it'll be done. It'll be done. And then, yeah, and then it'll be ready to uh, serve That's for dinner. That's amazing. That's a yeah. huge smoker. It's a huge smoker, yeah. And if you walk over here to the, walk over here to the side, mm -hmm. this gives you a little bit of an idea of how it's wow. ca caged, caged in. You'd have to be a mean bear <laughs> to uh, attempt to get into this. I'd say. This smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And He'll injure himself. He would injure himself. This is the. This wow. is just where where I start the fire with okay. the wood. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a close look. Have a close look in there. Nice. No fire yet because it's it's up it's, to, it's up to it's temperature. Wow. And how hot does it have to be? I'm smoking uh, this brisket at 245 degrees. Wow. Yeah. So that's about that's about all I can tell you. It is so a. Cool. A wonderful machine. you can't come to Waterton and not stop at the Prince of Wales Hotel because it is a landmark here in town and it's right on the top of a hill so you cannot miss it. It's so beautiful from all angles. An interesting fact about the hotel, it was actually built in 1927 so it has some history. It even kind of smells antique when you walk in, you know that antique smell. So you definitely have that kind of smell when you walk into the building. I came here two years ago, it was a beautiful day, stunning clear blue skies, perfect day and just the perfect day to enjoy the scenery around the hotel plus I did a high tea here then and the high tea was so so delicious they had a lot of amazing little sandwiches and I mean the tea itself was really good so I was super impressed with the high tea here I would definitely like to come back and do it again sometime but not this time around because this is just a quick pit stop to have a little Starbucks coffee and enjoy the view and enjoy the ambiance right here where I'm staying at the Glacier Inn and Suites. They have this beautiful Italian restaurant. It's probably known as the nicest restaurant here in Waterton. So it's very popular. It was very busy when we got here. It took us a little bit to get a table. Also, we didn't have a reservation, but the food is incredible. We started off with a caprese salad and some like risotto type balls, and they were so, so good, guys. Anyway, now on to the pasta. And I got, it's like seafood fettuccine and Candace got a nice spaghetti bolognese, you know, classic traditional choice. Yeah, I'm super excited to dig in and give this a try. It's perfectly al dente with amazing flavor. Yeah, definitely a winning winning choice with this restaurant. After another amazing visit to Waterton, Mother Nature gifted us with a rainbow on the way out of town. The beauty just doesn't stop here. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and we'll see you soon.